talk is that I think it is important and useful, in the example you cited is a good one, to have an online presence, just be smart about it, be aware, just go into it. And this is how I live now every moment of my life. I just assume that somebody's going to find out what I'm doing. But say, how, how do you get off of particular lists and stuff like that that's I, already you, been tracked? You, you, don't, you don't get off the list. If you ask how do you get off the list, I don't think you do get off the list. You're on the, you, the, the data doesn't get erased, you know. And so you just kind of live it. And that's kind of the crappy world we live in now, but that's my opinion. One of the things you, everybody should know is that anything you do, any kind of communication you have, whether it's on the net, on a phone, on a cell phone, or even, unless you're writing down a tablet and showing him, you have to assume that everybody in the world can find this out and know. But even if it's encrypted? Well, then, who, then who's going to get it? Has to be it has to be decrypted at some point for somebody to read it. That's very true. <laughs> so if you're sending encrypted files to yourself, you might be okay. All right. All right. You, have, you have your choice here of a badge or a book. You can have the badge and a book. Yeah? Really? Awesome. The badge right. was 25 cents, Steve. Come on. Le less. Le sorry, 20 cents. Less. I got these on uh, eBay. Uh, I got a badge. Yeah. <laughs> One question is... Um, Badges? More. <laughs> Go ahead. More buildings these days are asking for your ID and they scan it and have all the information right there. So how do you, I guess, what's an alternative way to get in buildings without giving your driver's license and every, all the information? I think he asked how, how ways to avoid having, you know, like a bar that makes you swipe your, your card. Is there any way to avoid that? Stop drinking. Stop drinking. <laughs> well, just normal buildings do that. Normal what? Office. Passport? That's a good one. No. No? They're going to start running them. I mean, it's a good one for the next six months or whatever. It's normal the office buildings is, that it's carry it's a, it's, a, it's a private place of business. If they say you have to hop five times on your left foot to get in, they can say that. Yeah, not real good. That's, that's a crime, though. Yeah, so quick Hello. Yeah, it is. Right, thanks. So a lot of scary stuff. Great talk. I appreciate it. I've been thinking about this for a bit, and have really been thinking that it's the asymmetrical control of this data that matters most. So quick two-parter, how do you think these dynamics change if you start tracking all this information about yourself and become your own big brother? And second part, how do we get these tools into the hands of journalists, educators, and social scientists who really need to understand them now? Okay, what? <laughs> I'm sure it was a good question, but it was just... That mic's a little little hard. Okay, yeah, so know, one more time. And, it's, and, and guys, it's probably a bad idea for us to do this from, from two locations. Can, can one of you guys just like take control of the question? And, yeah. yeah. So just, just All right. All right, one more time in the back. Real quick, so how do, how do these dynamics change if you start keeping track of all of your own data yourself and become your own big brother? And how do we get these kinds of tools into the hands of journalists, educators, and social scientists who could use them to do better oh, than the government and corporations? Uh, the answer is, if you keep track of your own data, all it does is it lets you effectively know how screwed you are. Um, <laughs> it, it, it does not remove that data from other people's access. I, I mean, if you start being proactive in the future, look, people ask you for your social security number, you give it to them blindly. They have no right to it. When I registered my phone in Texas, they asked me for my social security number. I refused. There's, there's a limited number of people, of, of types of entities, that have a right to ask for your social security number, for example. It's not a question of being aware of your information. It's restricting who gets it to the bare minimum. But I think, Steve, the, the second part of his question is actually something. I didn't hear it. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm bringing it up. Because this is right in line with what you're talking. He's talking about using the same sort of tools you would trace yourself and, and just keep making more people aware and especially journalists and people like that of the same sort of tools that are available that right. are being abused and this is exactly what you're in favor of you're in well, favor of the information is going you've, we've had this conversation many times the information I, absolutely. is out and i've got to tell you that's that's my that's my crusade to get this information out to everyone make people more aware keep the information free and journalists are the best at that number one get journalists to go to hope <laughs> so they can so they can actually attend seminars on this, but there are, I mean, the, the Reporters Committee on Freedom and Privacy puts this information out, and, and there are workshops now. I mean, journalists are really starting to get it, I think. 
Yeah, and I think just from my experience uh, with doing the research for the book and everything, um, and I really am firmly convinced that there's no going backwards on it, and so I'm, I'm definitely in the camp of make everybody aware of how to get all of this, and, and the, if, if all that information is going to be out there, then it shouldn't just be in the hands of a few. So. Information has been out there for years, and now they want to put it back in the bottle. Yeah. Privacy That's advocates right. want to now restrict the use of social security numbers. Well, guess what? If you have a, guy, a person's name and date of birth or phone number, you can get everything about them anyway. Correct. The only problem with restricting social security numbers, and it's going to be a problem when people have to do background investigations on a, on a new lover, a, uh, a, potential, a new employee. potential employee, a new employee, or anybody for that matter, questions. your new coach for the kids, we have to have something that can identify the person <laughs> as... Okay, we got... You know, I'm, I'm getting...